Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It has been a hot minute since I've uploaded on the channel and more of a hot minute since I've actually sat down and recorded. Like I've had tons of videos like just logged away in my phone so like I've had things to post but it's been so long since I've actually sat down and recorded and it, you know what it just feels so nice. But always, if I've had like a little break, I like to just come and sit and chat with you guys. Um, I mean, not that much has really happened lately apart from going back to work. Obviously, Cavendish finished rapping, as you know. And, you know, just trying to find other acting jobs, you know, finding other things to do that make me happy in that way. Um... I mean, it's been a weird experience because I don't know if a lot of people really talk about this, but it's it's an interesting process being an actor because, you know, you go through being super excited and like really, really happy because you're so excited to bring this character to life and you're really passionate about this, obviously, because it's what you want to do. And, you know, you put everything you you can into it and then it just stops. Like you don't have that like it's such a weird process because I found that after filming like I was a little bit sad like the day after um and you know I was just like oh okay it's over but it's okay like I'm glad it happened like I'm really grateful for this experience and whatever um but then as the days kind of progressed the emptiness became stronger, like something was missing. And it was like a really strange period of like transition period. Yeah, that's the word, transition. It was just a really weird transition because you know, you were doing what you love for like three days or sometimes you do it for longer and you have it like all the time. And then, you know, when that stops, and then you don't even get work for a while after that you're still trying to find stuff it's a really intense experience because you're going through all these different emotions all the time and you know I just felt really lost I was like you know like I kind of went through that process of you know like who am I if I don't have acting like what is my purpose if I'm not acting like that sort of thing and it was just a really intense time. Um, and you know, I still get bouts of that kind of like, oh, I just really need to be on set again. Like, obviously I'm gonna want to be on set again because it's what I love. And I think obviously that process proved that, you know, hey, like this is what you, you want to do and like you should do it because you love it so much. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know if people really talk about that process for actors that, you know, you go on this emotional roller coaster yourself, like regardless of if your character's going on an emotional and uh, going on an emotional roller coaster, you as the actor are going on an emotional roller coaster too, because you're experiencing all this stuff, like you're feeling so much joy, you're happy, like you're meeting all these new people, like you're making new friends, and like you have all this like excitement and all this high energy and like oh my god and like sometimes you might be sleep deprived if you have a late shoot and you're like running on all of this adrenaline and then it just comes crashing down and you're like what now so I think that's also why I've not really posted much because I actually have ran out of videos pretty much like I have three videos left that I pre-recorded and that's it um so I knew I had to come and like sit down have a chat get that out of the way and then like get back into the content but yeah like I think that also contributed to it because I just felt so stuck and like lost because I didn't have that and you know something that was supposed to happen didn't like really work out so I kind of just I'm left with nothing at the moment um I'm trying to be optimistic because although like that weird kind of not knowing where I'm going kind of thing is a bit more on the the negative side at times I am still trying to be as optimistic as possible because you know that's important when you're trying to be an actor like you can't just wallow in what's not happening you have to just kind of like move with the flow like 
go with the flow, take it as it comes and just appreciate the jobs you do get. Um, plus, cabin dishes are being edited, so you know it's not even out yet. Sorry, I had to charge my phone and I keep accidentally whacking the cable. Um, so yeah, like, I can't wait to see it, like, when it's out. I think it's um, obviously going to be really good from what I've seen. Um, I'm really excited for it to come out. I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but obviously I'll keep you guys updated for when it does come out. Um, so you never know, like, things might pick up after that once it's out and all that and I'm helping a friend that I've worked with before with a showreel scene I'm trying to get my showreel done get some new headshots done and try and keep the momentum going sorry I just really had to fix the camera I don't think that really made a difference but you know I tried <laughs> um but yeah like I even like I'm on IMDB now as well which is so cool to see like things that I've done just like the credits there um so that's exciting um and it's so cool just to see your like face there like when you click on Cavendish and it's like oh my god that's me <laughs> hello um so yeah it's been a really strange time because then on top of that um I went back to work I don't know if I've recorded a sitting video since then but I got to see Greg like I don't think I have done a sitting video <laughs> um at all and I was gonna like record seeing him just like for fun videos but I actually didn't um I just was really soaking in the moment but when it was really nice weather and we were obviously allowed to sit in other people's gardens and um, I sat in Greg's garden and we just like chatted and I had dinner in his garden and all that and it was just so nice like I honestly felt like I could have burst with happiness because I hadn't seen him in three months because of all the lockdowns and the restrictions and all that so it was just really, really nice to see him again, um, albeit from a distance, but, you know, it was just so, so nice. Um, and then obviously that nice weather kind of disappeared and it was also snowing in May. So it's like, okay, global warming really needs to be solved. Um, we all need to do better with that, definitely. Um, yeah, and then the weather got really bad and then we all, all this retail staff had to go back to work um and when i say we got thrown in the, in at the deep end we got thrown in the deep end like we got thrown in like i work weekends so like even the weekday staff they got flung in at the deep end because obviously they just opening it was going to be heaving like really busy so i get in we get landed on a bank holiday weekend on a three-day weekend so we're in for three days which is fine like that's not a problem like i don't mind working extra days but we get put like our first week back our weekend back is on a bank holiday and when i say it was busy it was so busy we were all on tills for the whole day like none of us were on the floor because it was that busy we had to just keep getting all the cues and then on the Monday they had to stop letting people in because it was so busy so busy like for covid times I was like oh my god because before I was having this conversation with a supervisor and a manager that like before they would literally let it get so busy that you could hardly move in the store like and they would never ever imagine closing the door but they full on were like, no, close the door, we can't let any other people in. And then managers were all like, no, like we can't, that like, gives off a bad impression. Like don't close the door, just make them wait. And it was a whole thing. But that has been really stressful, um, trying to readjust to that. But obviously like, as us humans, we adjust quite wonderfully. So, you know, that's been fun. Um, Fun's not the right word, but it's been interesting, you know, getting back to work and, you know, doing all that stuff um pardon me I've just been so exhausted like speaking to people all day and then just like being like active all day is just really exhausting like mentally and physically but like it's not like I wasn't active beforehand because I was like working out or whatever but like work kind of active is different because when you're always like moving boxes and then I have dodgy knees I don't know if I mentioned that but I was working out and then um, I don't even know where I was. 
um i just went blank because i just knocked the whole thing so that's fun um so yeah like yeah i was working out beforehand which was fine but like oh yeah my knees i was talking about my knees yeah like my knees were kind of just not it like i was exercising and i hurt my like my knees just started hurting my left knee but i this knee got really badly bruised when i was in a car accident like four years ago this september and um, the guy was drink driving so yeah don't drink drive at all it was the most traumatizing thing i've ever been through but anyway um yeah so like i badly bruised it. it was really painful like couldn't walk on it or anything for a while had to rest blah 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 and then i sometimes would get like little bits of like grief with it like it would hurt sometimes um yeah and now it's just like hurting more i'm trying to get it back to the angle of it's at and it's just not working out okay so yeah it just it's not been working out and now my other knee's starting to hurt and i'm like i just cannot win at all and this video is a mess because of the camera angle and it falling i just really need to get a new tripod ring light stand because this one is kind of falling apart I just I mean I think I'll still use this one um I'm trying my mom, mom's gonna give me her dressing table so that I can like have a setup of some kind so I think I'll get another ring light because I definitely feel like I need more light because I feel like I have to put it like right close to me for it to actually like make somewhat of a difference oh the camera fell again oh I fixed it now um Oh, I know, I keep losing my train of thought, but yeah, my mum's giving me a little dressing table, she just needs to sort it out, and then I'm going to bring it in, get a new ring light, because I need more light, or get like a ring box, not like a ring box, a light box, because that will produce more light, just because it's a bit dull, and I don't think it helps when my, when my blinds open, like I feel like the light doesn't really work out very well, if you know what I mean, and I don't really want to have to sit like fully at the camera, because then it will give me a migraine probably, um, but yeah, also, I mean, I could show you a few things that I got from work. It's not really interesting. It's like the tiniest haul. But I got these really cute bra things. Like, you know, those little comfort, like, there's really hard because it still has the thing on it because I'm still not sure if I'm going to return them. Like these little bras because it doesn't fit me because my left boob just doesn't like me at all. And obviously... I got Marie pajamas. They're shorts and a top. I can't be bothered showing you the top. I think I will. But yes, this is the top. I don't need any more pajamas or Marie pajamas for that matter because I have a lot. And then I got this BT21 jumper with lots of the characters on it. Well, all the characters, obviously. Oh, this has a thread. Um, but I got this in an extra small, but they're like really, really baggy. Like I put this on and it was like the baggiest thing ever. So I'm glad I sized down because it is really baggy anyway. Um, but yes. Oh, I also am still waiting to hear back from college because I apply. I don't know if I said to you guys, I really don't know what I've said and not said to you guys anymore. But um, I applied for my BA um, for college again and i sent it off quite a while ago and i'm still waiting but they get like inundated with like emails well not emails well yeah but like auditions and stuff like that so you know waiting to hear back for that and just going with the flow i'm kind of like i have been manifesting like i always manifest like manifestation is like my go-to thing and you know i'm kind of just trust in the process as much as the pr the process is a bit frustrating at times i'm just really trusting the process i'm like i don't understand the process right now but i'm gonna just accept the process and trust it and hope that it all works out um because yeah like i just really hope not like, I don't obviously think, I'm not like naive enough to think, oh my God, like I'm going to become a successful actor overnight. Like, no, like fair enough that happens to some people, but I'm not naive enough to think that that's going to happen to me. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm the worst actor ever, but like, obviously there's still room for improvement always. Like, I just see it as that, like there's always room for improvement, always like just to 
always pro progress I think that's the right word <laughs> that I'm looking for like to progress as an actor and you know just continue to like learn and get better um and I know that I definitely have room for improvement so I'm not naive enough to think oh my god I'm gonna be successful overnight like I would like to be successful but I know that that doesn't happen to everyone overnight and whatever but yes that's my main goal <laughs> to be a successful actor there you go I'm putting it out into the world um yes so yeah I don't think there's really much else to say other th and also had no update on the house and stuff with Greg and I did email some people to kind of move it forward there was one that said that we're on the waiting list and they'll get back to us when there's a place available so that's exciting but I can imagine it'll be a long wait especially when we've not heard back from other places so it's a bit stressful <sighs> but I'm sure it'll all work out in the end this video is probably like the most randomest video ever but I've just been so excited to just sit down and chat with you guys um but yeah, like if you've got this far, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching to the end. And if you've watched to the end, let me know any videos that you'd maybe want me to, to do. Like you'd want, you'd, oh my God, I can't talk now. Let me know any videos that you would like to see me do. Um, and not just reaction videos though, because I have a lot of requests for them. Like any other videos, like, you know, like makeup videos I still have to get concealer because I'm going I'm going out on Tuesday next Tuesday with some girls from work and I'm probably going to get drunk could maybe vlog that if they were okay with it but obviously I'd have to ask their permission first but I could probably vlog parts of it like me going there and getting ready and all that for the first out in since lockdown I'm so excited the last time I had a night out or like a date well it's not a night out this is more like a day out like a day thing we're going day drinking um so this will be eventful I should probably I could, I could vlog I could vlog that that would be interesting um but yeah like any videos that you want to see me do like that's not a reaction video because I always have plenty of requests for that and bands for that and bands always reach out to me too so anything that's not reaction videos let me know what you want me to do or want to see me do and i'll definitely make sure to get on it if it's in the right vicinity for the channel um but yes thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for putting up with this long video that's kind of a ramble but i'm just so happy to be back on youtube again even though i didn't really leave i just kind of had a break because things were getting a bit hectic and i just couldn't post Oh, quickly before we go, I'm so close to monetization. Like, I'm not that far off of 4,000 watch hours. I just need the subscribers and then I'm monetized. Like, who would have thought this little channel of mine could have reached that? Because I would not have believed you if that was happening. But I'm so proud of this channel and I really thank you guys so much for supporting me on this channel. And for sticking by me throughout the year, if you have. And for join for those of you who joined along the way, thank you so much also. But yes, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!